Gentlemen, today it's the big one. We hit the huge Japanese complex at Revol. B-25s will launch from Dobodura and rendezvous with the P-38s who will launch from our new field at Kiriwina. Both groups will then proceed to Revol, bomb and strafe ships and airfield facilities, intercept and shoot down any enemy fighters that make it into the air, but do not linger over the target area. Bombers, unload everything in a single pass. B-25 will return to Dobodura. P-38 will return to Kiriwina unless fuel permits return all the way back home to Dobodura. That is all. Good hunting. In early October of 1943, the new American airstrip on the remote island of Kiriwina was ready for use by P-38. Using this strip to stage and refuel, the Americans could finally provide effective fighter escort for bombing missions to the great Japanese bastion at Rabol. According to Colonel Charles W. King, U.S. Air Force, as quoted from Fort Tail Devil to the P-38 by Martin Kaidi, on 12 October, we assembled the largest force ever seen in those skies at Rabol. 87 heavy bombers, 114 B-25s, 12 bow fighters, and 125 P-38s for cover. 349 fighters and bombers. The size of the raid undoubtedly caught the Japanese by surprise. They managed to get only some 30 fighters off the ground into position to intercept. We claimed 26 Japanese fighters shot down, as well as destroying another 100 on the ground. Our losses were two B-24s, one B-25, and one bow fighter. This was entirely to anti-aircraft. We suffered no losses in the enemy fighters. Point one. On the way to Rabol, the fighters from Port Moresby had turned around at Kiriwina after a 90-minute flight. Opposition on this mission was so light, we were able to return all the way to Moresby after a three-hour flight. Later missions, however, point were two. far different. The plan was to keep hitting Rabol at every opportunity, but the Japanese got a tremendous break when the weather fell apart and storms filled the skies over New Britain. We had to cancel several raids when our weather reconnaissance aircraft reported being unable to get through to the target. But on the 18th of October, one group of B-25s, despite receiving the turnaround signal because of weather, pressed on to the Japanese base anyway. They lost three of their the number ships as against 22 of three enemy fighters shot down. Finally, on the 23rd of October, we come to the, the mission of today. The weather had improved. We started moving again. 47 P-38 Bishop covered 45 B-25s four. in a strike against Rabol. The Japanese were stirred up and reacted with a force of at least 50 Zero fighters. We shot down 20 and lost two P-38s, but brought every bomber safely through the strike. My logbook shows my flight at Kiriwina to Rabol and return at four and a half hours. It was a long and hard fight. Let's see how you do as you fly for Colonel Charles W. King. Try to avoid detection for as long as possible. Drop down low as you approach the target area. Approach from the sea, using the coastal mountains to shield you from enemy radar in the harbor. Stay low until you approach Simpson Harbor and stay off the radio until it's clear that your attack has been spotted. That is all. Good hunting. Bishop's Waypoint 9.